Hi guys, so today we are going to see how to do principal component analysis using RStudio. In one of my previous video, I have shown how to do PC analysis using Star software. So this time around, we are going to use RStudio which will give you much better or attractive PCA by plots. So coming to the data model, so you have to type in your data in Excel. So I have taken 20 genotypes or your treatments and 4 characters for the study. So this is the unreplicated data or your mean data. So now you have to just click save and uh, just select a drive. So I have already saved this file in your normal excel file format itself. So I am going to save it again. So I am just closing it and let's open our RStudio. So this is the set of, these are the set of commands that I am going to use today. So I have pre-typed it because there is some uh, some 25 around, some 25 commands are there. So it will be time consuming. So I am not going to retype it. Uh, and also these commands are also available in the plant breeders blog spot, the link uh, which I will be giving in the description section. So let us uh, let us uh, go into this. So let us start with the data set input. So in this environment uh, and this environment tab you can see an option called import data set just click on it and then select from excel so now you have to browse your excel file and i have saved it in d drive under the name sample so you have to make sure you know you give a simple name so these are the data just click on this import button so now you can see the data here so make sure you know which column it belongs to the genotype belongs to first column and this trait start from second column and ends in your fifth column because we need to specify which are the columns we will be needing for our PCA analysis. Now back into the R script so first of all you have to install the package called facto extra for that you can use the command install dot packages in bracket facto extra if not in the right hand side in the lower right hand side you can see an option called packages so under that you can just have to click on this install and from your CRAN repository just search ACTO facto extra so it is on here so and just click install so i have already installed the package so i'm not going to do it again so if you haven't done it in your system just click install here so i'm just clicking on cancel now so next step is to call your facto extra library for that we are using library facto extra that's the command and just press ctrl plus enter to run the command so the command has been successfully loaded so next one is to specify the columns that we need for our analysis in our file so this uh, column specified uh, data will be saved under the name data data for my own convenience so data is equal to I have to give this command and the file name so file name is sample so it is showing it here click on that and you need to specify your columns here it is from second column to fifth column so just i have uh, specified the columns now i'm just clicking ctrl plus enter so we have now specified the data so now again we need to find our principal component scores so for that we are using the command prcomp and prcomp under the back bracket we are going to use the data and the scale should be true so just run that command so we can see the uh, uh, certain 4 into 4 uh, ratios and the, your PCA scores here so similarly these PCA scores now will be saved under the name PCA again for my convenience so just save this uh, PCA course under the name PCA or whatever you like but you have to remember these things so this PR form functions gives you the PCA course just remember that for all the traits selected 
and it presents it in the form of a matrix this is a 4 into 4 matrix and uh, also we can see these values in this console region if you want you can paste it into word or anything else so if you type the sixth command this summary pca so you can get the summary statistics of this principal components like standard deviation proportion of variation and cumulative proportion so these first two pca components axis just explains 92 percentage of around 92 percentage of your whole data uh, variation in your data so that's the introduction part we have got our pcs course now we need to visualize this data and for visualization we'll be using some functions from factor extra that is this fvi is an underscore eig and underscore pca underscore in so like that we are using some one two four functions of this factor extra so the first function is to get uh, visualize your aging vectors where you will be getting a scree plot for that you are using this command feiz underscore eig and just give pca this pca is your renamed principal component scores so for my convenience i have given that pca so just click at the run that command now so under this right hand side you can see your scree plot here and your second command is uh, f v i z underscore p c a underscore in i n d this is uh, this will give this function will give a graph representing your genotypes so this will give uh, the a graph or a by plot representing your genotypes whereas this uh, 11th command uh, this f v i z underscore p c a underscore VAR gives a graph that is representing your traits or your variables. So under this uh, first uh, first command that is PCA underscore IND which gives a graph for genotypes you can see this PCA and you can just uh, specify the indication how uh, you know, on what basis your graph needs to be distinguished for this I am using COS2 function. I am just using a command COS2. So this command differentiates the genotypes with different color variants and the colors assigned depends on the quality of representation of each genotypes in the PC axis. So that's the importance of this COS2 command. And as you come along, you will be uh, specifying your gradient color gradients. So I am giving uh, going with a green, yellow and red color here. And at last you can see a command called REPL equal to true. So this REPL commands, command prevents text overlapping in the graph as much as possible. So while using any other software, uh, the data points will get overlapped or the text gets overlapped. So this command in RStudio just uh, prevents that text overlapping. So you have to give that command and just run this. So you can see this is the graph representing your genotypes. I have used 20 genotypes here. So this is the cost to command. So this differentiates the genotype with different color variants depending on the quality of represented, how well they are representing themselves in this PCA. So now coming to this 11th, the graph representing traits, you can see a uh, similar color variant, but here I am using a different command called contrib. So this contrib command differentiates the traits or your characters with different color variants and the colors assigned depend on the contribution of each individual traits towards the PC axis. So this is based on how much your character or your variable is contributing to the variability of your each PCA axis. So this is contrib and rest are the same as above. You have to specify the gradient color. I am giving pink, purple, blue, whatever your choice. And also you have to give the ripple here also. Now run this command. So you can see another biplot here, which is a representation of your 
traits and their contribution towards your uh, principal component axis. And this twelfth command, this is fviz underscore pca and underscore biplot. So this is the most common uh, biplot we have used to see in all the PC analysis. In all the papers, we will be seeing this biplot only. So we are using the same PCA data that uh, principal component uh, data and you have to give the REPL true and only you need to give the color variation how you want to represent your genotype and your traits I am going with the red and blue combination of red and blue so just run this so you can see this by plot for dimension 1 or your PC1 and PC2 so this will include both your traits and your genotype interaction so this is the most common by plot we are used to see in PC analysis but by using this R studio we can get three by plots so now so the visualization part is over now so now coming to the PCA values for these traits if you want to just uh, see the PCA values and copy those values for your tables then we need to uh, use another set of uh, no, you had we need to use another set of commands here the first one is in this 15th line you can see get underscore hygiene value for your PCA so this is this command will get you the hygiene vector values just run that command so you can get the hygiene value your person uh, the, your person variance cumulative variance percentage everything for your four PCA axis so again you can also get the PCA scores for your variables that is in your 16th line the command so just run that command so once you run that command you can get some four types of uh, values or your matrices so uh, for that the 17th line you have to then follow it up with the 17th line where you are going to specify a give a short name for this get underscore pc underscore var in bracket pca so you are going to just give it a name so that we can easily represent it in the coming commands so i am giving it as res dot var so i am just giving it a name and just run this command so as i told once i uh, activate uh, once i run the 16th line command that is get underscore pca underscore back i got four options like dollar cord which will give the coordinates for the variables so likewise i can get some four values regarding this principal component analysis so let us see what the first one will give so that is res dot var dollar c o o r d so just run that command so this gives the values of the pca coordinates for the traits so this is your pca coordinate values and the second one is res dot where dollar sign your c o r so this gives the correlation between traits and your pca axis i think this one will be more interesting because this gives the correlation matrix between the traits and your PCA axis. And the third one, so third one is res dot var dollar cos 2. So this gives values on the quality of representation of the traits. So we have used the, so just run this command. So this is the quality of representation of each traits. So these values are being used in one of our graphs. So the last one for the traits is res dot var and dollar sign country. So this gives values for contribution of each traits towards PCA axis. So we can get this. So every data is in the form of a matrix. So whichever is needed for you for your table preparation, you can take it. So the next category is the PCA values for your genotypes. So that's why we have seen for all everything for the traits so everything is for the four traits now we are going to see the pca values for genotypes so for that we have to uh, type in the command in this 24th line you can see get underscore pca underscore ind that is your individual of this pca 
so just run that command so you can see three more options here so we have to use that so before that we have to shorten this form we have to shorten this form into res.ind i am renaming it as res.ind so let us try these three options now so res.ind dollar cord i am running this so this gives the values of the pca coordinates for the genotypes so out of 20 genotypes i am getting the pca axis values and the second one is res.ind dollar sign cos2 so this will give values on the quality of representation of the genotypes so just press control enter you can get another matrix so similarly in the 28th line the last and final command that is res.ind dollar sign contrib so this will give values for contributions of each genotypes towards your pca axis so you can get that matrix also so i think but uh, for as far as we are concerned this summary pca and all the visualization is enough and maybe this res.var that correlation between your traits and pca axis may be of something useful and other than that every data is being used in your by plot and graph constructions so hope it was useful so in this uh, right hand side you can see all the graphs along with your screen plot you can export it as image or a pdf file format you can select and save it anywhere in your in your pc or in your laptop so that's all about the pc analysis using rstudio